Hey everyone, as always, Dylan Miller Prospecting. And as you can see, it's Pater Review Time. This is part two of this month's review of Alaska Dredge Man. Earlier this month, earlier in the week, I did his two pound bag and I ended up with a 98% ROI. And now we're going to be tackling his eight pound bag which came just as the other one did, simply in a cloth bag. There's no outer bag, there's no inner bag, but this one did come with a really big vial. So I'm hoping that's a sign of good stuff to come because unlike the two pound bag, which was guaranteed one gram of gold, the eight pound bag has no guarantees whatsoever. So let's weigh this up and see if it's the eight pounds. Eight pounds, 3.4 ounces. So it's over the eight pounds as claims. And let's read the description. Super bag, eight plus pounds amount, Alaska gold concentrates, panning material straight from the dredge. This auction is for a bag of concentrates, which was mined using our 10 inch commercial auction dredge on the South Fork of the 40 Mile River near Chicken, Alaska. Pan your gold just as the old timers did. I recommend wash tubs so you won't lose anything. This is the perfect material to practice doing your concentrates. This bag of concentrates contains a mixture of black sands, blonde sands, and gold. The bag you will receive contains eight plus pounds of concentrate. This bag is right off the dredge in Alaska and loaded with gold. If you like our normal bags, you're going to love our super bags. And as you can see, it does say super bag on here. And I did love the regular bag. I, like I said, I got a 98% ROI out of it. So, just to get a 50% ROI out of this, I need to get about 2.3 grams of gold. So I'm hoping to get around three to four grams, but the only way to find out is going to be to open it up and start panning it up. So let's see the material. And just because a lot of people did comment about it, I do, and I did turn the bag inside out when I tried to recover and make sure I got all the gold out of the bag in the last bag. Well, it's barely gonna fit in my pan. Should've got a bigger pan. I will wipe down the table. I will check the bag in a minute. Yeah, there's still some stuff in there, so I'll double check that in a second. But I'm gonna let you listen to music and I'm gonna classify this down. That took a bit of time. It's been a while since I've had to classify a large amount of material and you always forget just how long it takes and how much it fills up your pans. And as you can see, this is pretty similar to the two pounds where it kind of is equal amounts in the top three classifications and just a little bit less in the minus 40. 
But let's see if it's magnetic. The last one had a lot of magnetics in it. And this one seems to do the same thing. I mean, you can just see it's starting to just show up because my magnet can't even hold anymore. Oh, and it's got a lot of magnetics in it. So let's try the other classifications as well. Yep, same thing. Good bit of classification. And also, I don't know if you can see, but my table is covered in dust. So I have to be very careful in a minute when I clean it up to make sure I get it all. Oh, magnetics and all. I'll even try this time to see if there's any in the plus 10. And there is some. So, oh, I see a nail. And again, I love dredge stuff because then you get to clean out all the stuff that fish would eat that are polluting stuff. And I will, like I said, make sure I clean out the bag really well. I'm not going to get it wet, but I will turn it inside out, shake it out, really go through it to make sure I get anything that's out of here. And I didn't see any gold. In all eight pounds, I saw no gold. But in my last review, the gold was really dirty and funky looking. So it might be hiding because gold loves to hide. And the only way I'm going to find out if there's any gold is if I go pan it out. So that's what I'm going to go do. I'm going to go pan this out and I'm going to be right back. Well, finished panning everything out. And this one, again, like the last one, was pretty easy to pan out. There was no real mess. When you got to the minus 40, there was a little bit of silt, but nothing to cloud up the water really bad. It did have a little bit of organic, so I didn't find any in the two pounds, but again, this is four times as much, so there was four times as much organic. So in the last one, there was zero. In this one, there was a little bit, not much, after eight pounds. I mean, it started a little bit to get in my way after eight pounds, but that's eight pounds of material. So not complaining about it. Just letting y'all know that there is a little bit of organics maybe in the eight pounds. But other than that, it was really fun pay dirt. I mean, I had a blast with it. It was nice and easy. And again, it was a little challenging just due to the fact that the gold is not bright and shiny. There is some that is shiny, but a lot of it is rounded, so it will roll a little bit. And it also tends to be a little darker, so it's a little bit harder to see. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So in the plus 10, found some gold. Nice little bit. Two of these got a little bit of weight to them. This is probably the biggest one over here, right there. It's probably probably weighs the most. It's not the biggest, but probably weighs the most. So, twelve nice pieces of gold, and then I got to the minus ten plus twenty, and found even more gold. A lot of gold, to be exact. Probably eighty pieces, somewhere in that range. So, really happy about that. And as you can see, it's not very bright there's a lot of darker pieces and some a little bit brighter piece but they definitely haven't been cleaned in the minus 20 plus 40 found even more gold again over 100 pieces probably probably in the 120 range so really nice with that and then the minus 40 even more gold there you go a nice little pile of fine gold so gold in every classification Really nice. Enjoyed it. And let's weigh it up. So I'm going to let you listen to more music as I put it all in some boats. And this one will be really easy. There. Bam. All right. Now let's listen to some music. Let's weigh it up. All right, for the plus 10, 1.462, 1 1.461, got right around there. For the minus 10 plus 20, we got 1.4. Seven two zero minus twenty plus forty. 
zero point four three nine. Just so I'm trying to spell that. And then for the minus forty. This should budge a scale a little this should budge a scale a little bit. Zero point one two two. Let's just add everything in there. Oh, this one's starting to stick. I know it's gonna. I'm gonna try and all fall out and miss the wave boat. Three point seven four seven. So there you go. I'm gonna read right back. I'm going to be right back with my ROI and my review. All right, I have calculated my ROI, written up my review, and let's get right to it. Again, this is from Alaska Dredge Man. He's an eBay seller. It was his eight pound super bag. It had no guaranteed gold at all. He doesn't even say he put, you know, guarantees gold at all. So there was no guarantee. It was $175. Shipping was $12.95. Total cost $187.95. Gold I recovered right there, 3.747 grams. Gold spot on the day I received this was $41.16, which means this here's gold's value is $154.23 which means my ROI is 82.06%, or on my scale, an 8.2. Now, for fun factor, I'm going to give him a 10. It would probably be around an 8 normally, but this stuff was really fun. It was really, really clean. It was nice and easy, and I like the fact that I honestly believe all this gold came out of that dredge. None of it's shiny. You know, sometimes you'll see some gold from Pater where half of it's really shiny and half of it's really dulled down and natural looking. And then you kind of think that's the gold that's added is the shiny stuff. This stuff all looks natural. I loved it. So it was a ton of fun just for that. For a dirt description, he's getting a six. It's got the basics in there, but not really that much more. For quantity and packaging, he is getting a nine again. It was over the eight pounds he stated and the bag he's getting eight. So averaged out, that's a nine. And here's his downfall. Customer service and shipping, he's only getting a four. If you didn't watch my last video on him, it took him 21 days to reply to three different emails back and forth with him. He had said he would refund me for some shipping because I'd actually purchased two bags and he was supposed to combine shipping. It took him 30 days to get me my refund. Took him 21 days to ship out this bag of pater and get it. it. It was just really bad customer service. So total score for Alaska Dredge Man's eight pound super bag is a 7.4. Now for his two pound bag, I scored a 7.8. And I have to tell you, both of these scores are really being killed just by the easy stuff. This seller is nailing the gold. And that to me is the hardest thing to do. Getting an 80% ROI and still making money or having bags that produce 80 and 90% ROI, that's hard to do. P writing up a description that you're only gonna have to write once and you can put on your web page and leave it there for the next 10 years is easy. Answering an email, easy. Taking a box and dropping it off at the post office, easy. Those to me are the easy things. I would rather do that all day long than try and find a place where I could get 80 and 90% ROIs. So I really like this seller. I love his pater. I love his gold. Sally, I hope he really gets together with his description and his customer service and shipping and he improves a whole bunch because a 7.4 really isn't a good score and he really should be in the nines. For the pater I'm getting here and the gold I'm finding, this really should be a nine seller. All that's left for me to do is give away a 24 karat gold plated dime and flash up the score. So let me flash up the score right here. 
And now for today's 24 karat gold plated dime winner, it's going to be Will Win. So Will Win, you did win. So make sure you email me so I can send this off to you. And to everyone else, thanks for watching and happy panning.